What's up everybody? Thanks for watching Car Inside, doing another C fixed here, ranked one out of thirteen again. Got us another pole. Hopefully we can go get us another W before the day's over with. We head out to work. We got Jason in here with a spot in this race. Here we go. Yeah, that last race, that last 20 lap run that I had, I was really driving it in deep and using a lot of brake. And by the last two or three laps, the right rear was really stepping out on me. I was really able to get it to, to turn good. Yeah. My wrist hurts now. This poor eight truck was the cause of both yellows last race. I think he's dead. He got a meatball. Oh my gosh, he's having a rough Bristol this week. Dude, it's a tough track. Yeah. I'll be honest. Like, there's no other track I struggle as much at. I'm going to try to set a long race pace. i got Ryan behind me. He's pretty clean. He races me clean a lot. Like right now, I'm lifting at the Cup Series sign and just rolling through the center. Yeah. Three and four is so much different than one and two. One and two, you just stab the throttle and go. Three and four, it's like halfway through, you start picking it up. For just a few the feet and fine. then stab it. Yeah, the hardest thing I'm finding here, I'm used to not stabbing. <laughs> right. <laughs> Any throttle, anymore. I've been like taught, do not stab your throttle. It's not a light switch. Right, so, uh, but it is this week. Yeah. So it's hard to go back to like doing something that you're told not to do. Right. Oh, well, be careful. You're really clutching on this right now. Oh, what's going on up here? Oh, Grant, you must have that over here. If y'all don't care, just go high when I get to you. I thought he said he had a meatball. He said so. I was a little nervous going by him though because I watched him tear the wall down and destroy the truck to his inside last race. That was me a year ago. <laughs> As I said, Russ lapped me three times. Hey, the first time I ran Bristol on iRacing. The 
first time I ran Bristol on iRacing um, it was a league race and I blew a tire before every single pit stop Naughty sessions up, you better register quickly if you want to get in I was having too much fun at Kansas. Yeah. Man, I wanted to run there so bad last week. I got so busy every day, it seemed like I never got a chance to. Do you know what? The B car. I wish I did more B car. I know. I, I heard it was fun this week. Yeah. We had the uh, we had the local fair going on in our hometown. So we took the boys there on Friday night, and then I didn't get back till like midnight. I'm like, I slept in, and then I done that live stream. All of my friends wanted to do a week 13 live stream, and I'm like, well, that's something different. We can goof around, and have some fun. And so I was up till yeah. 2 a.m. So I definitely didn't get up Sunday morning. And I'm like, well, I'll run some midday Sunday. And we got back from church late. The boys were pitching a fit, and ended up grilling out. And I'm like, okay. We're just not going to race this week. <laughs> <laughs> like, I still struggle in the B car, but I starting. I just need to do more races. That's all, honestly all I need to do. That registered screen. Ryan's sticking to you. Yeah, the slap traffic is five, one, keeping us glued together. Seems like he can navigate it a lot better than I can. Well, you punch the hole. Right. He just has to follow. And his truck's handling the same every lap being behind me. I get clean air and then suddenly get that dirty air and changes the handling. Yeah, I it's noticed like that when I was lapping people. Adapting. Where did he go? Ryan's always really quick though. Me and him are usually bumper to bumper wherever we go. I tell you, man, I never imagined a day I'd come back to Bristol and finally wrap the bottom again. <laughs> Feels like the old uh, NASCAR 2003 days before they revamped the track on there. I'm always weary coming off the corners when I've got somebody to my outside and I'm lapping them because I'm just scared to death they're going to tear the wall down and then clip me. So I'm always, I never pinch anybody. I'm always running and giving up a little while on exit, you know? Yeah. I feel like I have decent race pace with this fixed setup. 
Oh, dude, you have great pace here. And great, consistent pace here. It doesn't matter if it's fixed or open. Your lap times in the open were phenomenal as well. And you spent the whole time in dirty air, remember? Yeah. Dude, that thing handled so good in dirty air, though. I mean, it I really... There was not a point other than being very early on and kind of feeling disconnected going off into one to where that setup really felt uncomfortable. Ooh, good save, Brent. They know you're coming. I think because basically, I think, I don't remember exactly, but Russ had a set on and Matt had to build something to get past Russ. Right, so it was basically, the fundamentals of it was built in dirty air. Right. You know what I mean? Right. But when you put it in clean air, it feels so much better, so good. I, just, I, I don't know how everybody builds their stuff, but I imagine a lot of people go out there by themselves and build it from clean air. Like, you know, by themselves. Yeah. Yeah. I imagine just going into a test session, and it's never the same. Uh-oh, what's going on up here? Bad time for my hands to be going numb. <laughs> I've not dealt with that problem very much lately, but I imagine that uh, here at Bristol it's probably going to pick back up. <laughs> yeah, oh, I get it every now and then. Uh, I haven't been to therapy since vacation, so. Sorry, what were you saying? I didn't mean to interrupt you. You're so much quicker than everyone. Like three tenths. Really not pushing right now. I'm just not using any brake. Just lifting halfway down the straights. Race. Everyone's separated. Oh, actually, no rents. Those guys are together. Hopefully, it stays green. I didn't want to say it. I didn't want to <laughs> jinx it. <laughs> I was thinking it. I was looking at the lap, and I'm like, this is where it went bad last time. Or, well, where we had a yellow last time. Coming. 
Honestly, I just want to get the full race in just so I can look at my tires and be like, okay, this is what my tires were at 75 lap. Just stay high. Copy. I appreciate it. My hand's so numb I can't even find the dang button. I probably shouldn't be pushing, but I think it'd be funny to lap somebody here. Rents. <laughs> or at least, have you seen the movie Days of Thunder? Uh, not for a long uh, time. You remember the scene where he looks in the mirror and he can see the guy's teeth smiling at him? Yes, actually, I remember that. Ah, uh, we're gonna have a yellow. <laughs> Maybe not. Put it together. Yeah, Rents and Rodney are there. racing up there for position. Can you hear Noddy? Hmm? Can you hear the voices in the background? No, all I hear is you. Okay. Okay, cool. Or... Oh. Well, we didn't laugh him, but he's seen her teeth smiling. <laughs> I was just wanting to see how many I could put down there. That was dominating. Wow.
Thanks, guys. Look at us going. Look at us going caution free. Ah, oh, I don't even want to do a burnout just so I can look at my tires. Ah, uh, yeah, you don't need to do a burnout. <laughs> you have plenty of opportunities. <laughs> Pretty sure of that. Seventy-two, eighty, eighty-six, ninety-three. Jeez, that's very good tire wear. I feel like it could be a little higher on the right front. And you know how I would do that. Because I was pushing there at the end. I kind of got out of my rhythm. Well, I was still in a rhythm, but I was pushing a little harder. Hmm. But yeah, that felt really good. It felt balanced. Maybe they've. Our racing's done some stuff. I don't know, but that fixed setup felt really good because I've always found our racing setups to be like super tight yeah yeah they always are this one this week feels great I guess we had uh, had some interesting stuff to happen in front of us here for a couple laps there was one Rodney and Rents battling. Then I think something with this group happened again. Oh, there it is. Wow. Lap 68. Did you see it? Guy got in the wall. Yeah, I only saw it from. I was following you in chase. That's all I saw it from. Wow, that was close. Alright, guys. Well, as always, thanks for watching Car Inside. See y'all next time.